percent of IIP mm. is the same as the general index coming in at 4.4. Not a very uh, uh, enthusing number. One would have thought we could have done better than that. Uh, but uh, just a word more on other uh, indices. Uh, consumer, uh, wait, I think capital goods have been so far uh, doing a, a, a striking job. So let me give you the capital goods number. I think that's Oh, that's where the disappointment has come. It's a contraction of 1.8%. In capital, the capital goods, again. Yeah, yes. Capital goods for the last many months has actually been doing exceptionally well with uh, some double-digit numbers uh, on several uh, uh, in several months. See, we had 20% in February. We had 14% in uh, Jan, November. All of them, right from uh, uh, December, we have been having double-digit numbers. Mm. So December, Jan, Feb were all double-digit numbers for capital goods. Even November was a good 9.4%. But uh, capital goods is disappointed with a minus 1.8. Year to date, of course, uh, year on year, it's 4.4%. Primary goods, again, were just 2.9%. Uh, 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 then, uh, uh, among other things, uh, I think consumer uh, durables and non-durables would be of interest to us. Okay, consumer durables has done extremely, uh, consumer non-durables has done extremely well at 10.9%. Uh, it is durables which have done badly. So all your televisions and cars are not a great march buy. It's only 2.9%. Mm. But consumer non-durables, which would include all your FMCGs, uh, you know, from Atta, Dal, Chawal, all the way up to, uh, you know, uh, say, soap powder, FMCG products, they've done well at 109 They are usually indicative of a good uh, rural uh, uptick. Mm. So very good consumer non-durable performance but a very poor consumer durables performance. Uh, uh, that's really uh, the, uh, the story, if you please. Mm. Uh, industrial output simply not firing mm. for the month of March. Unfortunate because we had had a fairly good run mm. in the past three or four months. Is, is it the lowest number we've seen in at least the last five quarters, as we can see? Or is it a l longer than that? I mean, 4.4 is fairly dismal. We've been seeing... Uh, 7% rain starting January and February, 74 No, you, you 7. could well be 1. right. I'm still um. looking for uh, uh, Ekta stable, which normally is extremely informative on these things. Okay, IIP series, uh, yeah, you're right. We haven't had a, a, a low number that low until October 2017, so okay. five months, yes. Yeah. Uh, November, December, January, February, all those four months were 8% and 7%. So we had a yeah. very good run from yeah. November to February, and it was only October, which was 2%, and the months mm. before that. Mm. Uh, but October, probably we did a lot of restocking in September, so October was pathetic. Yeah. But nevertheless, the good run, which started in the winter months, has kind of ebbed at 4.4%. But it, maybe there is a base effect, I do not know. Let's ask the expert, Anubati Sahai, the head of South Asia Economic Research uh, at Standard Chartered Bank, has joined us. Anubuti, 4.4, what's your take? Uh, definitely less than uh, expected, uh, but uh, and especially if we look at the last uh, few prints, which was consistently above, or, you know, very close to seven percent. So in that uh, uh, context, it's uh, disappointing. But all said and done, uh, uh, you know, the kind of strong growth rates which we were seeing in uh, capital goods, especially, and seven to eight percent kind of a growth rate, uh, in our view, was. A, a, to some extent reflective of pent up demand and probably okay. we are now coming closer to a more uh, normal normalized trend um, okay before. i can spoil your fun a little more uh, digestive enzymes you know that Originally, yeah, we used so. to have uh, rubber cables. Yeah. That used to be insulated cables would just take the number anywhere. One year, one month, insulated cables would be 100% higher. One month, it would be 100% lower. And that would take the IIP just anywhere. And the new form of uh, rubber cables mm. is digestive enzymes. <laughs> Every month, you have digestive enzymes and antacids. This time, it has contributed one percentage point. So without... Wow digestive enzymes, you would have actually had a 3.5% uh, or 3.4% uh, uh, IIP number. I mean, that's not the way to look at it because, you know, yeah. you can always take some and give some. So we will work with 4.4. But really, this is destroying the credibility of the data, isn't it, Anubhuti? I, uh, you know, like, uh, if you uh, the, uh, you know, the well, uh, maybe you, uh, you want to repeat that sentence, Anubhuti. You weren't very clear. I think you're using a cell phone. Okay, sure. So, the, you know, like, uh, uh, of course, if you look at uh, something like uh, pharma mm. contribution to overall IIP, uh, that has been pretty erratic. But if you uh, focus on, say, last five to six months, mm. 
IAPX Pharma has been doing well. Uh, okay. In comparison to 0.9% growth, which was the case in H1FY18, mm. we are a clock uh, growth rate of close to 6%, uh, mm. barring what the shock which we saw. All right. And even if you look at the manufacturing sector, okay. in the first half of FY18, out of 23, mm. uh, only 10 uh, were growing okay. in the positive terrain. Okay. And now that has expanded to 15. So I would still say there is a you know, recovery to a theme remains intact. Mm. Uh, it is still broad based. Mm. But uh, probably over the past few months, we were getting carried away a lot because we were consistently getting seven after seven. Okay. So more of a normalization rather All than, right. I would say... Uh, and these are lumpy products. So, yeah, point taken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but just to add a little more color, uh, we now have, of course, the year-on-year -year figures. And you may be enthused to know that this 4.3% IIP is probably because we manufactured less tobacco. Tobacco okay. products have fallen by 17.9% year on year. Uh, well, I think I'm trying to make light of it. Uh, wearing apparel have fallen by 11%. Uh, and uh, paper products have fallen by about 6.5. Printing, okay, printing and reproduction of recorded media and paper products have fallen by 4.6%. Uh, to do, doing very well you know, actually, Anubhuti, is pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals year-on-year year is up 23%. So, well, uh, I think you will have to go through uh, the data a little more uh, uh, in detail. Basic metals have contributed very well. All these are, of course, year-on-year year figures. Year-on-year, mm -hmm. year, basic metals, pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. uh, uh, fabricated metal products, uh, uh, computer, electronic, and optical products. All these have been the positive contributors, mm -hmm. and negative contributors have been well, it's a bad good, you know how the economists have to say. So, well, it, maybe it's a good thing that there's been some shrinkage in the uses <laughs> okay. uh, of tobacco. But overall, the numbers have been fairly disappointing. Anubhuti, uh, you know, uh, uh, is, is she still with us? Yes. I, I don't know. Anubhuti, Anub I, if you can hear me, uh, you know, uh, what would you say, uh, you know, what sort of sense does it give you overall from what we've seen of the core data? And now we're seeing the IIP numbers coming as a big disappointment. Uh, uh, what do you see the future course of rates also to be? Okay. No, Anubhuti, you have to repeat yourself. Uh, in comparison, so if you look at FY17 and FY18 mm. average IIP growth, annual growth, it was closer to 4.5%. Mm. Uh, I would expect FY19 numbers uh, to be better, but mm -hmm. probably we uh, we are likely to end up, uh, you know, somewhere closer to 5.5%. Okay. Mm. Uh, but uh, again, uh, probably I'm repeating myself, mm. the kind of numbers which we were seeing over the past few months mm. Uh, looked a little bit um, uh, more optimistic. So okay. uh, improvement is there, but uh, uh, you know, like closer to say five and a half percent going forward.